was um, exploring the singer-songwriter. Um, and I actually ended up going down kind of a rabbit hole in this. And it started with the fact that I couldn't find a lot of um, female singer-songwriters when I was searching. I just used Apple Music. And it, it had a genre of singer-songwriter. And then looking at like what was new and what was popular, I couldn't find a lot of female singer-songwriters. And um, I found one, I found a piece that I could like hear different parts in, so that was my first goal, was to pick a piece, and that was kind of my parameters in it. Um, then looking into singer-songwriter, um, and specifically female singer-songwriters, got into this whole rabbit hole of feminism in music, and it was very interesting starting with Joni Mitchell, really, was the pioneer in the 60s and 70s. Um, and then you delve into the 90s with Alanis Morissette and Sarah McLachlan, which is my childhood. And I like never really identified as a feminist. And then I was like, oh my gosh, this is my childhood. <laughs> um, and then listening to different music and even different genres that are still singer-songwriters, which is not considered singer-songwriters because they're not in pop. Um, Regina Spector is another artist that I like that is singer-songwriter who is inspired by Joni Mitchell. So it kind of goes beyond just the pop folk category. Um, the piece that I ended up choosing is called Sort Of by Ingrid Michaelson. Um, looking at meanings of this, I couldn't find anything of her telling meanings of this piece. Um, but you, when you listen to the, the lyrics, and this is my score, which is what you can get on guitartab.com. Yes. Um, so where the chords are is actually not correct. You really have to listen to the piece to figure out where the chords fit. Um, but listening to this and um, experiences, not my own experiences, but um, about five years ago, our school lost a teacher to domestic violence um, over Christmas. And listening to this, it can, easily be seen as being in a bad relationship, and it could go very dark very quickly if you um, identify differently with this piece. And that kind of hit me really hard that one of the things I talk about in this female singer-songwriter is there is this need for um, the consumer and um, the industry to kind of water down the lyrics and water down the meaning, but songwriters have made it in a way that you can identify and you can take it from one end to the spectrum to another. Um, so there's also this idea of how popular musicians learn. In fact, there's a whole book, there's a whole way of teaching even in band um, uh, called earplay. And so reading this and then trying to transcribe this, I transcribed a little bit of the chord structure to get the right inversions and kind of right feel of where the bass line led. But when I tried to tr transcribe the melody, I found myself losing the feel of the melody in the piece because traditionally singer-songwriters aren't writing with staff paper. And this song is a lot of offbeats, but it's not strict and. There's a lot of 16, probably 30 second notes in there that as soon as I started writing, trying to transcribe it out, it was losing the feel of this freeness and this ambiguity in the, in the melody. So I ended up scrapping that and just sticking with this. It is a little low, so um, I don't sing really loud. So sorry. Thank you. 